Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the endgame. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Hey, little milestone level at the start of the episode, I completely missed it again, but what do you know, it's me, right? <laughs> 80 magic, beautiful actually. That is a beautiful level, we can now do stun, charge, and that is it. Never going to use that. But still, a very beautiful level, another base 80 stat. Yes! Oh my god, already? That's the fourth, fourth casket back after we completed Recipe for Disaster and everything. Oh yes! That's so good. All right, guys, let's start this episode off. Why did I have a feeling that this was going to happen? <laughs> I'm so... It, it is incredible how everything is lining up so perfectly. Craft a nature rune. Now, thing is, that is not even that bad. 44 rune crafting. It could have been double cosmics off the bat, which could have been 59, but it's first nature runes. I don't understand how I'm this lucky that it goes in order so well. I'm probably the first one being happy to be able to start rune crafting. Let's go. Not sure what tactic I'm going to use yet, but I might have to get all the pouches first. I think I can do up to medium pouches. I think you have to kill leeches in the abyss for that, so let's do that. Um, I just got a medium pouch and the clue scroll medium in one drop. Need I remind you that the clue scroll medium is a 1 out of 256 and the medium pouch is a 1 out of 42? You can do the math. But uh, that only took like approximately 5 minutes, so I can start runecrafting now. Here we go, together with all these champions, we're runecrafting up to 44. It is actually so chill, I've done two runs so far. I got the double pouch, I've got the teleport, I got the dueling ring for the castle wars. It's so chill, it's not even that far. You can almost one-click it, but you can just use a essence on the first guy and then it just runs. I'm gonna be here for a while, it's gonna be incredibly fun. No one ever said that, but I'm actually enjoying this. 33 runecrafting coming in. For air runes. I might jump over to double fire runes for a little bit if I'm actually bored of this. But so far... Shit, I just did the wrong teleport. So far, I'm quite enjoying it. And it's quite AFK too. As I was running here, I just got a genie. So, perfect timing. <laughs> because right now... Where the hell is runecrafting? There it is. Now we got 35 runecrafting. We can make a double fire runes, which is something I might do in the future. I need fire runes anyways. But uh, I still think double is not worth it. But it's a very easy way to train rune crafting. But as I said, I'm still enjoying this method, so we're keeping we're keeping it up. Kind of right on time, but I just got astral runes potential of making that was not English, but <laughs> anyways, we got 40 rune crafting is basically what I wanted to say. So four more levels and we can we can actually craft nature runes. Pretty crazy how fast this went. I've been online for 1 hour and 30 minutes, I have not hopped yet, so this is pretty accurate. We are gaining about 15,000 runecrafting XP per hour, which is not incredible, but I've been walking, I've been slacking a little bit, I've been watching videos. So it's all in all been really chill, and I am absolutely in love with the Lunar Spellbook. Oh my god, this contact thing, you can legit just repair your pouches from miles away. I love this, I've never used this. It's crazy, it's great. Two more levels to go till the big 44. One more level. On our way to the last run of this runecrafting little grind, I've been online for about, let's say, two and a half hours. 44 runecrafting. We can now craft nature runes. Well, we actually already did that with these. I don't even know if these count, to be honest, if these ZMI nature runes count, but I want to train my runecrafting as high as possible anyway, so base 44 stats, boys. We're doing it. We're getting closer to the farming level, by the way. And we're on our way to complete this elite step in the probably one of the worst altar locations. Could have done it through the abyss, but for one run it is not that bad. That's a new music track too, and boom, five nature runes made. Skill challenge completed, let's return back to Sherlock. I'm not in the right spell book. There he is, my big buddy. I think I can almost do every single Sherlock step unless if he gives me double cosmics. But this is the next step of the clue, which is incredibly close. 
All right, Sherlock, seems easy enough. There it is, there's the casket. We're decently hard for this one, so maybe we can get another unique. It's been a while since we got a unique out of one of these caskets. I mean, a lot of them have been trash. Can we get something? You know, I'll take the mahogany planks, you know what? 41k? Yo, that is not even a bad one. That is not even a bad casket. No uniques though, but I'll take the mahogany planks and the dragon necklace. That's actually great, because I was about to make a skills necklace, so that is, that comes perfectly. Alright, back to Barrows or Sorokness, I'm not sure yet. This next clue I got on Barrows chest count 832 live on stream, and I would love to show you the reaction, but there's unfortunately an Eminem song playing in the background, so I'm not gonna risk it. Just look at this, just look at this face. This guy is incredibly happy. Let's get the elite clue. So, for the third step of the Elite Clue, we just came out of the wilderness, we have to go into the Heartwood Grove, which requires us to get 100 trading sticks. I think it's gonna take a little while, so, uh, let's get cleaning and stuff, I guess. So, apparently I can also trade in uncut opals and jades, and since I've done so many hand member pickpockets, <laughs> I've got a decent amount, and I'm hoping that this will amount to the correct amount of trading sticks to enter the Heartwood Grove. Don't know where to trade them in, though. Um, Kabooty, where the hell you at? Kabooty, bring me your booty, dude! So this is gonna work, right? Yo, 54 for one?! <laughs> Lads, we're in. <laughs> Easiest step in my life. Oh, <laughs> all right, boys. <sighs> okay, massive shout out to Task Only UIM. That guy just gave me the RNG of a lifetime. If I don't get something incredible right now, the system is rigged. Live on stream. The 12th Elite Casket. Let's do it! You know, as I said before, I'll take the mahogany planks. I'm not fussed about it. It's a decent worth to 108k, but it hurts. It kind of hurts. 12 Elite Clues, and I think we only have three uniques. Come on, give me something! Tattered Sun Page. That might actually be the fifth one, which is not bad because we already completed one book. We already have two books for the mini quest now. No! Get. That's the third Carol's Coif. The third Carol's Coif. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Elite Glue, baby! So we just got the clue that we have to dig under Razorlor's Toad Bada, which is in the middle of Tarn's lair. Probably one of the most difficult clues to get to, but first I have to get into Tarn's lair, which I need the Haunted Mine quest for. So, without further ado, <laughs> we've got another quest on the program. If I remember correctly, Haunted Mine gives strength XP. Well, let me check how many quest points it gives. Two. And 22,000 strength XP, not too bad. It's going to put us on 199 quest points. Let's get it. Here we go, Slayer Music. Let's do it. Is this guy gonna do anything? What the hell? I should have taken Ivan Blast with Tang Gear. I should have taken Ivan Blast with Tang Gear. Oh, there it is. There is the hit. What the hell? What is that? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. Come on. One more hit. Yes, is that it? Nice, okay. Whew. Yo. That was not even... That was not a great experience. Jesus, I'm overleveled as shit. Maybe I should have done it with other gear, but... Let's finish this quest up. And this is going to complete the quest. Yes, 22,000 strength XP. We can now make the salve amulet. I don't know if I can actually do that on this account. Uh, <laughs> um... I'll think about that for a bit, but now I hope I can enter the Tarn's Lair without doing the mini quest. I have no idea. So let's check it. I didn't bring a spade either. Mm. Alright, now let's hope we can make it there. I found a tutorial on YouTube, I'll link it in the description if you guys ever get this step, because there is a very, very long route to this Elite Clue step, but there's also a shortcut route, I want to call it. So I'll link the video in the description of how I'll get there. Dig, dig, dig and get out. Dig and get out. Come on. Did I get a new elite? Did I get a new elite? Yes, I did. Okay, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Whoo! Spicy ass clue that was. Just want to point out that this clue is lying. Any amulet of glory? Well, I'm wearing an amulet of glory T and it's not working. I do want to test it though. But let's bring a normal glory just in case. All right, let's see. Yep, so it doesn't work with a glory T. Mod Ash, please fix. I've never done this. Now I have to slide it down. I need to. S what? How am I gonna... 
How do I make a sled? It's a device obtained and used during the Troll Romance quest. To make a sled player, you must talk to Dustin. Iron bar, yule logs, rope, swam tar, bucket of wax and, wax and cake tin. Damn it. Alright, Dunstan, make me a sled, please, and then... Is it a sled or a sleigh? How do I even pronounce that? What, what do you mean you can't do anything with that? Wait, I've done troll romance, right? Oh, wait! Lads, um... We're about to get 200 quest points. And here we go. That is a sled made. There we go, now we can actually complete the elite clue. Woo! Let's go! First things first, let's complete the elite clue. It is not a casket, it is... Take by the ladder leading to the Dagonoth Kings. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, I know that plays very well. Let's first complete this quest. <laughs> and this is the final part of the quest. We should be able to complete it right now. I was way too overprepared. I'm not gonna be able to take all these ungood gems that is, he's going to drop. Yeah, so, but I'll only need the diamond. I don't care about the rest, whatever. Troll Romance, done. Now let's do the last step of this elite clue. On my way to get my elite casket, you guys better be ready. Shit, I gotta be quick, dude. I'm getting blasted here. There we go. I don't know where I teleported. Alright, apparently we're opening it on Karamja. <laughs> right, elite clue number 13. This is it. Let's do it. Boom. Man, these elite clues are absolute trash. I don't know what to say to you guys, but the last four were absolutely terrible. My god. Not even a unique, not even close to a unique. And there's the last part of the video. I want to close it off with 400 total Barrows chests. We're not going to get anything, let's be honest. <laughs> but look at that beautiful number at the bottom. 400 chests. Lads, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, because I'm, I'm going to be a little bit busy. But I'll let you guys know. I'll try my best, all right?